Hi friends, how are we? Happy Wednesday to all of my crafty friends out there. How has everybody's week been? I have thought all day long that today is Thursday. I woke up this morning thinking that it was Thursday. <laughs> it is not, today is in fact Wednesday. I, um, I hate it when that happens, it just kind of throws your whole day off. So how is everybody doing? Have you guys had a good week so far? Hi, Miss Angie. How you doing? So glad to see ya. Oh gosh, you guys, I'm a little out of breath. A friend of mine, I've got lives all day today, and a friend of mine just dropped off a Starbucks for me. I zoomed down the stairs, grabbed the Starbucks, took a huge gulp, <laughs> and then came right back up the steps. So I would imagine that by the time we get through with today's project, I will probably be bouncing off the walls. <laughs> And a nice shot of coffee. <laughs> so some of you guys um, may know that right now for Jesse James Speeds we're having uh, summer camp and <coughs> excuse me and we've been having classes all week. We're right in the middle of our summer camp week. Lots of classes today, even more classes tomorrow and then we finish things up on Friday. So I thought that it would be cool to kind of excuse me hold on <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little tickle there. I thought that it would be fun to kind of mix the two things together, right? So we've got our virtual summer camp happening with Jesse James Speeds, and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to create kind of like a summer camp um, craft, right? And a camp-related craft, no less, which is also super cool. So we're using Hitting the Trail. This is probably one of my top five favorite button little collections, if you will, little packages of buttons from dressitupshop.com. <coughs> some of you may remember we used some of these in a project right around Father's Day where we made a really cool card. And I just can't get enough of that cute little camper. How sweet is that? He's just the cutest little thing ever. So I thought it would be cool to use these in our project today. And we are like keeping it straight up summer camp. We're even using craft sticks. Like that's how much like summer camp we're gonna, we're gonna be doing things today. So we're gonna make a, a classic summer camp craft where we make a, um, a picture frame right out of <laughs> our sticks we're gonna paint them up we're gonna stick some things to them and we're really just gonna kind of dress this up as the name happens to uh, be and um, this is one that you can do for yourself if you want to make yourself a little memory of your Jesse James bead summer camp or you can pass this craft off to the kiddos right this is gonna be one that they're absolutely gonna love doing so this is definitely a kid friendly craft you can substitute craft glue where I'm going to be using hot glue. Um, so get the kids, grab the grandkids if they are driving you crazy and um, you've got some craft sticks around. This is going to be a fun one. So how are we doing, guys? There's Miss Nicole and Jane. Oh, Karen says she bought these the other day. These buttons. They're so cute, right? They're so, so cute. And she says she has all of her Twitch people wanting these buttons. Good, bring them on over. Rosanna says, oops, I'm a little late. That's okay, <laughs> that's okay. We're really just kind of getting started. You know how I do. We do a little chit chat at, at the beginning. Um, all right, so what are you gonna need for today's project? Well, you're gonna need your craft sticks, of course. And we're gonna need, I think we're gonna use eight craft sticks. And I'm using the skinny ones, but honestly, I kind of wish that I had the, the large ones. You know, the ones that are, they're wider, they're a little bit like, I don't know that they're double the size, but they might be pretty close to double the size of the singles. I really like those better, but this is what I have on hand. So we're just gonna use the skinny ones. And I am, I'm gonna pull out eight of these. I'm gonna use a little bit of acrylic paint in brown. Um, and then I have my paint markers just because I feel like the paint markers are a whole lot easier. And I'm also gonna be using the um, the hot glue gun. But like I said, if you're gonna have the kids involved with this one, then you probably want to use the craft glue instead of the hot glue. Um, it just takes a little bit longer to dry, but not much, particularly if you get like this speedy craft glue. I've got one that dries like super, super fast. So 
All right, let's get down to business because I know this might seem like a very like super easy, you know, oh, it's just a craft for the kids, but I, th I think you guys are gonna like the results of this. I think you'll see how cute this turns out, all right? Okay, Rosanna says she has a larger size and she uses them for making fans. I'm, I'm, I've got to grab some of the larger ones. I really need to order some. Okay, so let's take a cute, a cute, <laughs> let's take a quick look at these cute buttons, shall we? So this is hitting the trail. And for those of you who are interested in any of the other buttons, because dressitupshop.com has a ton of amazing buttons, if you search the outdoor section, right, you're going to pull up a lot of like little critters. There are some squirrels and some rabbits and some raccoons. There are bees and bugs and bicycles and just all kinds of outdoor things. So you could really get a whole scene going. But in Hitting the Trail, we've got three trees. We've got our cute little camper and we've got a little pop-up tent here. And the only one that is a shank button is going to be the camper. And we are going to, I'll just go ahead and do it while we're right here. I'm going to take my cutter tool. I'm going to go ahead and trim that right off so that now we've got that nice flat surface. All of them have a flat surface and we are ready to go. We're also going to use a Scrabble tile. What? Right? I know. So confusing. But <laughs> if you've got an old Scrabble game, um, grab the X, right? And I think there's only two. X's in the entire Scrabble collection of letters. I could be wrong, but I think there are only two X's. Grab one of those. Um, if you don't have a Scrabble X, then you absolutely can just paint an X and you'll see. We're going to make it look sort of like a little, kind of like a little treasure map, if you will. I have a really bad glare here. Or not a glare, but a shadow. All right, so let's get, let's get, let's get messy. <laughs> Let's get messy. So I've got my craft sticks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I've got eight craft sticks and I just wanna give like a little bit of a wash of paint to these, some brown. Um, I don't have my paints. I really need to, need to replace these paints, but we'll just deal with what we got. So I just want a wash. I don't want this to be like super dark, dark, dark brown. I just want it to be a little bit darker than what we've got going on here. So grab my paper towel, have that handy, and <clears throat> we're just going to kind of hit these with a really thin, thin layer of paint. Oh, that is a lot, lot darker than what I expected, which I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought this is the one that I had mixed with water. And that's why it was so runny, but oh well, we'll go with it, it's okay. Dark brown it is. I really was not going for this dark, but I should probably mark my paints a little bit better. But that's all right. No problem. So if you do, however, <laughs> want what I had intended, which was just a wash of paint, um, I like to take extra bottles of paint um, that are empty. I don't ever throw away my empty paint uh, bottles, particularly acrylics. I always save those and I wash them out. And then when I want wash paint, like, you know, you've heard people used to whitewash their fence. I take my um, bottle of paint, my empty clean bottle, and I will pour in a little bit of the paint color that I want and about two drops of white or cream, depending and a whole lot of water and mix that up. And you can actually use a spray if you've got a little spray nozzle to attach to your bottle, if you need to you know, spray a large surface. Um, but it makes really good kind of wash paint where the color is not nearly as deep. It's a little bit more transparent and you can hit it with a paper towel afterwards right and kind of wipe off the excess so it's almost like creating kind of a um like a stain color if you will where it's it's not this super opaque paint just a paint trick i um i use a lot of paint <laughs> in my life and i've had to have uh, you know all kinds of different variations of paint which 
I know that sounds really weird but those of you who know know that I do a big Halloween thing and for our Halloween haunt you get really kind of creative when it comes to your paint and making it stretch and <laughs> you know painting large scenes with small amounts of paint you you get you get really acquainted with the wash all right so I'm just hitting all of these and I'm just going to go over these with just one coat um, and it's it's going to dry pretty quickly it will be a little bit tacky but I don't have time to walk away from these right and let them really completely dry but that's all right totally fine and actually I think maybe this dark brown paint will work will look just as good just kind of envisioned this a little bit differently so how are we doing how is everybody for those of you who are hanging out and doing Jesse James Speed summer camp we are having an absolute blast. And this is a good kind of little intermission to your jewelry making. For those of you who are not doing Jesse James Speed Summer Camp, what have you been doing this week? How's everybody hanging in there? I know we're, we're right at the end, the tail end of summer. Just a few short weeks left and we will be moving right on into fall and that means we're gonna have some fall themed crafts and it won't be long we'll be working on holiday crafts and you guys dress it up buttons has some of the most amazing holiday buttons you have ever seen like absolutely awesome so for any of your holiday crafting needs i highly highly recommend headed out heading over to dressitupshop.com and if you have not signed up for the mailing list just yet go ahead and do that so you will stay up to date with all things dress it up all right so we've got our paint sticks and a couple of these that are still pretty wet. I'm gonna sit those to the side and we'll start with some of the ones that I painted first that are a little bit more dry. Okay, so we're just doing this in classic summer camp style where we're gonna take two and lay them side by side, right? Just like so. And then we're gonna take other two, right? Right over the top and glue those down. Now. <clears throat> excuse me they are still a little bit wet the two wettest ones are over there I'm gonna let those sit for a few minutes you can overlap this as much as you want to or you can take these right up to the edge so that they're not overlapping at all and I honestly kind of like the way that that looks so I think that might be that might be what we do okay so I'm just going to take my hot glue here and I'm going to put some hot glue right on the end. And again, if you're using or you're letting the kids do this, maybe skip the hot glue part and just stick with craft glue. Let's stick that right up close to the edge there. You can see it's kind of peeking over the edge just a tiny, tiny bit, but Okay, I'm gonna do the other one. Uh-oh, somebody said they gotta went to the <laughs> first aid tent to get a B12 shot. <laughs> I took my B12 this morning and and had my friend drop off Starbucks. So that's why I say my combination of the B12 and when that Starbucks hits me, you guys better watch out. I'm gonna be all over the place. Okay, and now we can glue down the second. Okay. Just like so, and then we're gonna glue the two on the bottom. Okay. So super easy, nothing hard about this at all, but I feel like the results of this are gonna be so stinking cute. Oh. 
Okay. So now we have the outline of our frame. And <clears throat> again, if you're going to use the larger craft sticks, you're, you're going to be able to make a much bigger frame. I wish that I had the thicker ones and the longer ones now that I kind of look at it. This is good for just a single, you know, just like a, um, a five by seven photo uh, or a six by four either one of these is either one of those photos is going to um, fit nicely in here um, however if you're going to do a large photo you're definitely going to need more than just these regular craft sticks that i've got you're going to need the bigger ones okay so now what i want to do is i'm going to grab my paint pens and we're actually going to save our dress it up for after we do this part. All right, so since our brown is a lot darker than what I had originally anticipated, we're gonna use some black. I've got a black paint marker. What else should I use here? I wonder how the yellow will look over the top of that brown. Well, let's see, maybe green. Hmm, let's, let's test it out before we commit. We can do that. We've got our paint here, right? Do a little test run. We'll let that dry for a second. I know the black will show up, but we're gonna try out the yellow. So for those of you who are not super comfortable with using paint, paint pens, I highly, highly recommend. One of my very favorite <laughs> inventions of crafting is the paint pen because if you can draw or even if you can just kind of sort of draw it's so much easier than trying to use that green is not going to show up okay hopefully the yellow will so much easier to use a paint pen than to try to control a paintbrush if you're not used to it Okay, yeah, the yellow will be good. I could use white, but I feel like white is so boring. So yellow it is. All right, so <clears throat> what I want is, and you can do this either on the top or on the bottom. I want it to say, let me move my hot glue gun out of the way here. I want the year. Okay, so put our 2020 on here. You can go over it a couple of times. Okay, and up here I want it to say summer camp. <laughs> and I probably Or we'll just make it summer. <laughs> Once I started writing that, I was like, mm, I don't have room for camp. <laughs> so it's summer 2020, which it totally is. I originally wanted to put summer camp on here, but I mean, that's what, that's what happens when you don't measure, right? I'm just going to go over the letters a couple of times here and then you can also outline with the black that's going to kind of help to uh, make things pop particularly if like with the e you see how the the paint kind of bleeds over all right so now i want to come in and let's put our x right over here and we want this to kind of look like a little treasure map, if you will. And our X is going to mark the spot. And I'm putting that on there sideways. Paint over that stick and try again. What are you talking about? Oh, paint over this one? <laughs> I could do that. I could do that. Or I could leave it. <laughs> I absolutely could. All right, so I'm gonna leave it and we're gonna, we're gonna keep going because I'm so excited about the rest of this. All right, so on the treasure map, you know how like there'll be a dashed line? 
that's what we want. We want our little dashed line to kind of lead us. So I'm actually going away from the X, but the idea is your little dashed lines are going to take you to your X, right? Where your treasure is going to be or whatever you've got, right? And I want to leave some room because I want to take into account where we put our little trailer and I want to put a little tree up here. Maybe put our tent over this way and I don't know, I think I'll put that guy up there like, hmm. Oh, I like that. I like that. All right, so I haven't glued these down yet, but I do want to kind of have an idea, right, of where those are going to go. And then our little trail. And you can make your little dashes as, as thick as you want to. All right. Just kind of leading in a little path. That's so cute. Let's go ahead and glue down our little tent. Put him down right there. And then we'll put our little trailer over here. How cute is that? I know, Garden Lady says, loving that little trailer. I know, isn't it just the cutest? So adorable. So our trail, kind of going on this way. And you can start it and then stop it wherever you want. I mean, I'm just kind of, a little willy-nilly, if you will. All right, and we're gonna glue down our trees. You could get really, really creative with, creative with this. I've kept this pretty basic, um, just you know, a single coat of brown with just the pops of the yellow. However, if you wanted to, on um, a lot of the little treasure maps that you, you can actually look up little treasure maps on Pinterest. Um, sometimes they have little rough drawings of like, like little mountain ranges, like little tiny like map size, just kind of black outline drawings. So like a little mountain range or a little pond or whatever, and you could do all of that. You could also really change up um, the brown if you wanted to. You could, um, you know, you could dry brush it and give it some more texture. You could really get super, super creative with this. But if you're looking for just a quick and easy project to do with the kids, this is a really, really good one and a super cute way to show off those buttons. Uh, it doesn't just have to be for summer camp, right? This could be any kind of camp trip that you guys have gone on, or you could skip the camping theme altogether and use any of the awesome dress it up button themes that are available over on dress it up shop. Um, so, I mean, you literally, the sky is the limit with this one, but I feel like this is <laughs> such a cute little way to kind of commemorate our, our summer camp. And I may do just what, just what Jane suggested. I may paint over this and instead write like JJB summer camp or whatever. You can totally change this up and personalize it any way that you want to. Um, but then at this point, after you've got everything glued down, I mean, this is really pretty much it as far as the back is concerned and how you would attach this. <clears throat> You can put a little hook here on the back. Um, over in the craft department, there are um, the little, you know, you, it's like a, like a little loop that you can glue down. 
and that will sit really nicely on a nail or you can just glue if you're using if you're letting the kiddos do this you can just take some um, cord of any variety nylon cord cotton cord whatever you've got and just put a little drop of glue here lay down the end of some cord drape it over this direction and the other end and that's a really super quick and easy way to hang this up also you can come in with magnets and I think that that's actually what I'm going to do with mine I'm going to cut some little magnets I've got some magnet strip and it comes in the little the little rounds as well and just attach the magnets on the four corners and then stick this to the refrigerator and what's cool about that is that you can actually change the picture up if you want to put the picture on the refrigerator put this down over the top of it and if you had more than one picture and you wanted to change them out you absolutely could do that um, or you can glue your picture down if you want to that part is up to you but I kind of like the frames like this where you can change the picture out particularly if you've got the kids involved um, just because they grow and they change and the memories are different and maybe they like the look of something else um, if you leave off the date then they absolutely can change the picture on this right as many times as they want to which is fun so um, just a cute little craft quick and easy right make a little mess with some paint and pop your favorite dress it up buttons on there and you've got a cute little you know a little memory keeper that is personalized you embellished it yourself you've got your cute little scrabble tile attached to it i love that part i think that's uh, that was a cute little addition to it so there you go guys i'm gonna turn you guys around i um know this was a quick one but you know sometimes instant gratification like i'm all about that right instant gratification is where it's at particularly with crafts I love to get super involved with a craft and you know really kind of devote lots in, of time and attention to that and if that is what you are into definitely check out the photo gallery that is over on dressitupshop.com because there is a ton of project examples that are really just intense and I don't mean intense like hard but I mean like you know there are ones that take more than 15 or 20 minutes to create um, but if you like this kind of project where it's just kind of quick and simple instant gratification something that the kids will really enjoy doing how cute is that right that's so stinking cute and we put this together in what 15 minutes um, if you love this kind of craft check out the YouTube channel that is available with dress it up there is a whole gallery if you will of not just photographs of projects but we have some projects on YouTube where you can watch some quick and easy craft projects just like this if you need some quick inspiration something to give the kids you know that they can do and keep them busy for a little while I know that a lot of people are about to be starting um, online schooling if they haven't already with their kiddos and I don't know how everybody's online schooling works but mine will have some breaks in the day where at least with my elementary school age child there will be some breaks in the day where we need to fill in some of the time with some arts and crafts things that are not not happening right because it's all online so crafts like this are the perfect perfect solution to you know kind of break up their day break up that monotony and still give them some arts and crafts that maybe they're not necessarily going to get on their online schooling so dress up but buttons like it really kind of appeals to such a large variety of people you have your crafters that are really into you know crafts that take a lot of time scrapbookers quilters uh, people that like to sew or parents uh, grandparents teachers so there is literally something on dress it up shop that is going to appeal to absolutely everybody and something that is going to be there for every kind of project whatever the theme is so if you've not checked out the website highly recommend going on over there check out dress it up buttons and check out some of the projects that we've done in the past if you liked this one there is plenty more where that came from and come back and join us next week same time same place oh wait not next week next week is an off week but the following week we will be right back here at 1 p.m eastern time with another fun project for you guys and start thinking about your holiday crafts drop us a line if there is a holiday craft that you would like to see and let us know and we will be more than happy to put that together for you guys so have a wonderful rest of the afternoon and i will see you guys again soon bye guys